almost all of us are huge fan of sci-fi movies and the futuristic technologies presented by them. Those scenes are very attractive and pleasant. But, if we come to know the real explanation behind those things in the language of physics, then we can enjoy them more. Such a popular TV show is The Flash, which belongs to the DC Comics. The main concept of this show is to travel faster than light or FTL travel. So they used various theories and texts for FTL travel. There is a very interesting device called the Tachyon Prototype, a device developed by Mercury Labs that can absorb the speed force and they gained more speed for FTL travel. From the above lines, I think one word seems to be very interesting, which is Tachyon. You must think of how this thing can be used for such travels or is this related to real physics? Well, the answer is yes. A tachyon is a hypothetical particle that always travels faster than light. It is one type of exotic matter. To know more about tachyon, at first, we have to know about exotic matters and their various interesting properties. Exotic matter is not dark matter or antimatter. It has exotic properties. It is non-baryonic. It has negative energy density and negative pressure, like dark matter and dark energy. Most of the exotic matter remains hypothetical. Tachyons are examples of exotic matter. The tachyons are very interesting because according to the theory of relativity these particles are able to travel faster than the speed of light. Exotic matter can violate known laws of physics. Negative mass would have some unusual properties, such as accelerating in the direction opposite of applied force. Why exotic matters are so important. Here is an example. We can travel from one part of our universe to another part or a completely different universe through wormhole in just a few seconds or less than that time. Einstein's theory of general relativity mathematically predicts the existence of wormholes. But the reality of that process is more complicated. The concept of wormholes still is a hypothetical concept. These wormholes would be useless for space-time travel because they collapse very quickly. This problem can be solved by using exotic matter. Wormholes containing exotic matter are more stabilized. They could stay open for a longer period of time. If a wormhole has enough exotic matter or we artificially add sufficient exotic matter to it then it can be used for travel through space. Some researchers say that it also can be used for time travel. But, it will be challenging for a human. British cosmologist Stephen Hawking has argued that such use is not possible. But, there is another problem. Even if we can stabilize the wormhole by adding exotic matter in it and travel through it, there is still a possibility that the addition of regular matter, here human beings, could destabilize the portal. Now see what is Tachyon and its history. ECG Sudarshan, BK Deshpande and Bhijanath Misra were the first to propose the existence of particles faster than light and named them, metaparticles. Enakul Chandi George Sudarshan, also known as ECG Sudarshan, born on 16 September 1931 and died on 14 May 2018 was an Indian-American theoretical physicist and a professor at the University of Texas. Sudarshan has been credited with numerous contributions to the field of theoretical physics, including Glauber Sudarshan P representation, VA theory, tachyons, quantum Zeno effect, open quantum system and Lindblad equation, spin statistics theorem, non invariance groups, positive maps of density matrices, and quantum computation. His other contributions include east west relations, and philosophy and religion. After that, the possibility of particles moving faster than light was also proposed by Robert Ehrlich and Arnold Sommerfeld, independently of each other. Tachyons were first introduced into physics by Gerald Feinberg, in his seminal paper, on the possibility of faster than light particles, in 1967. A well known relativistic equation is this Tachyons have V greater than C. This means that E is imaginary. If we take the rest mass m, and take it to be imaginary, then e is negative real, and e squared minus p squared equals m squared less than zero. The energy and momentum of a tachyon must satisfy this relation. There are many interesting properties of tachyons. For example, they accelerate that means p goes up, if they lose energy, means e goes down. So, a zero energy tachyon is transcendent, or it moves infinitely fast. Sometimes people imagine that such FTL particles would be impossible to detect, but there is no reason to think so. No tachyons have definitely been found and most physicists doubt their existence. Tachyons are not entirely invisible. Some scientists claimed that experiments to measure neutrino mass in tritium beta decay indicated that the neutrinos were tachyonic. In 1985, Chodos proposed that neutrinos can have a tachyonic nature. Neutrinos can travel faster than light at high energies and experience Lorentz violating oscillations, Lorentz violating neutrino oscillation refers to the quantum phenomenon of neutrino oscillations. 
described in a framework that allows the breakdown of Lorentz invariance. This proposal was strongly criticized. If tachyons are charged, you could see them by detecting the Cherenkov light they produce as they speed away faster and faster. Such experiments have been done but, sadly, no tachyons have been found. Because a tachyon would always travel faster than light, it would not be possible to see it approaching. After a tachyon has passed nearby, an observer would be able to see two images of it, appearing and departing in opposite directions. The black line is the shock wave of Cherenkov radiation, shown only in one moment of time. This double image effect is most prominent for an observer located directly in the path of a superluminal object, in this example it is a sphere, shown in gray. The right-hand bluish shape is the image formed by the blue Doppler shifted light arriving at the observer who is located at the apex of the black Cherenkov lines from the sphere as it approaches. The left-hand reddish image is formed from red shifted light that leaves the sphere after it passes the observer. Because the object arrives before the light, the observer sees nothing until the sphere starts to pass the observer after which the image as seen by the observer splits into two one of the arriving sphere to the right and one of the departing sphere to the left.